I mean, we all love these furry creatures, right? But will you look at that? Hello everyone and welcome for this new video. In this episode we are going to talk about one of the most annoying things that can happen to a freshly finished oil painting is having dust collecting at the surface. Well, it can be dust or, or dirt or lint or cat hair. Well, anyway, um, in this episode we are going to uh, talk about how to prevent that from happening, how to remove it, and finally how to protect your painting on the long term. The first thing you want to do is to prevent dust from collecting at the surface of your paintings. And for that, there is no secret. Your studio has to be clean. I mean, if dust is collecting everywhere around on the furniture, every time you'll pick up something, you'll move around and create a lot of dust in the air. And you, at some point, is going to collect at the surface of your painting. So there's, there's no secret. Another thing you can do is use an air filter or an air purifier, which is going to help remove some of the dust in the air and filter that. Now, when you're actually painting, the main source of uh, dust is this sort of things, rags. Because, well, I don't, I don't, <coughs> I don't think you can see that with the camera, but whenever you move your rags around, uh, there's a lot of dust collecting on the rags. There's a lot of lint, uh, lots of things like this and whenever you pick them up or even if you you put your brushes in them uh, It's going to collect the dust and at some point it can end up on your surface So you want to avoid that and the best option if you want to prevent that from happening is to open a window and you know wipe everything away so that's one thing you have to be aware of now, just after your painting session, that's a critical moment for your painting because it's not entirely touch dry yet and it's not entirely wet. It's just in between. At some point, if you touch it, you're going to ruin your surface. So if you try to remove the dust at this point, it's going to ruin everything and you want to avoid to have dust collecting at this very moment when it's just starting to dry. So what you can do in this case is have your painting face down like this. So put them against the wall or put them at the feet of your easel. Make sure that if dust is collecting somewhere, it's at the back and not the front of your painting. Now, you cannot always prevent dust. Eventually, it's going to happen. At some point, some dust is going to collect on your surface. So you want to remove that. How can you do? The first thing is one thing that you have to avoid. These sort of things, you have to avoid them. These dust sweepers work well for furniture, but you want to avoid them because look at this. I mean, they are full of dust. It's, it's keeping most of the dust inside, but eventually pff, the painting layer is more sticky than this, and it's going to make all these lint and dust stick at the surface. So this is one thing that you, <laughs> that you really want to avoid. One thing you can use, but it's not very effective, are tweezers like these. Um, they work okay, mostly for big things, but what you want to avoid is to have, to, to sort of scrape your painting. So the best thing to use is this, a simple house brush. Three things you have to consider before using this. Make sure that your surface is touch dry, completely touch dry. Uh, make sure that it's clean, the, the brush, and make sure that it's dry, but completely dry. And, and it's very easy, you just have to brush away on your surface, 
and it's going to remove all these dust collecting there and once everything is taken off of your surface you just have to do this away from, from your painting and you're good to go. Now the final thing is how to protect your painting on the long run. So the best way to protect the painting is the varnish. The varnish is going to act as a protective layer that's going to protect your paint film on the long run. But it takes some time before an oil painting can be varnished. In the meantime, you can use a retouching varnish, which is a temporary varnish that you can use if you want to exhibit, if you have a show and you want to show your painting, but it's not reached the, the final varnish time, well, you can use retouching varnish. It's going to act as a protective layer waiting for the final varnish. If you have to move your paintings around or if you have to let them at some point for a very long time, you can also cover them with a, a plastic cover, a plastic wrap that's going to prevent the dust from collecting. If you have to keep them for a while, that's the best option. And also if you have to uh, move them around like in your car or anything, you want to avoid to have too much dust collecting while you're doing that as well. If you want to learn more about oil painting, you can check my oil painting course. It covers all the practical and technical aspects of oil painting. Uh, and it comes with a two hours demonstration or it's four hours of demonstration if you take the extended version with an ala prima demonstration. It covers everything you need to know if you want to start oil painting or if you want to explore more advanced techniques. All right, that's it for this video. As always, guys, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you for the next video. Until then, have fun painting. Bye.